Mm -hmm. Hi guys. So um, it's time for people to um, get into the word. So we're not deceived um, because Satan's got his powers, signs, and lying wonders. And Satan has his ministers of righteousness. Um, they're ministers of darkness that masquerade as light. And they're speaking Jesus' name. And the man of sin is coming. And um, there's already many Antichrist spirits. And what's going on is people really want the word of God. And they're, um, you know, following following all these different uh different denominations and different people that are saying they can cast out devils in Jesus name and that they have the anointing and people are getting snared left and right. So it's time to come out of all of that, um, come out of Satan's signs and lying wonders. It's the spirits of devils working miracles. He's bringing all the kings together, all the kings of the earth and of the whole world into one fold. Um, you know, it's, yeah, under, under Rome and what's going on over there in Israel and all this other stuff. So some more stuff I'm looking into. But a one press satellite, a one world religion is what's going on. And they're all going to gather into one fold and tolerate each other's beliefs and call it one God. And even the devil believed in one God. The devils know that there's one God and they tremble. Um, and they're going to call it Je Jesus and it's, it's another Jesus. And it's coexist and they're tolerating each other's beliefs and bringing each other into one fold and calling it God. And if I can find it on my old phone, my old phone is really small. I don't know if I can get a thing, but um, I went to um, yeah. Grand Rapids, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Yeah. yeah. Wait, no. Can I call? What is on Jamie's phone number? Not. Don't call him yet. Hang on. Don't call him yet. I'm making a video. See? I see that. Yeah. What are um, you making a video? Well, hang on, hang on. But this is my old phone. And then on it, I um, from Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, there's um, a room. It's called the Interfaith Chapel, and it looks like a beam of light. And, um, you know, behold, I saw Satan falls lightning from the heights, right? Um, and I have pictures in there. When you walk in, it is a podium, and it is a Bible on it. I don't know what Bible, um, but there's a Christian Bible on there. And then next to the podium, you have a Muslim rug. So you can go in there if you're, you know, Muslim and you want to pray to Allah. You can go kneel on the rug. And pray to Allah. You can kneel on your um, puppy pad. And you can, you see, you can do that. And then you can stand next to the person doing that. And you can pray. You can read your Bible if you want. But yeah, you guys are tolerating each other and calling it the one same God. You can call him Allah, Buddha, Krishna. You know, you can call him whatever the Indians call him. You can call him whatever you want. Um, Jesus even. Um, they're going to use the name Jesus too. Um, even the Hebrew names and everything else, um, you know, Yahweh and Yeshua and Yahushua and all these names, and they're calling it God. And they're gathering into one fold, one accord, you guys. And people are saying they're tired of division between the denominations. Well, that's the deadly head wound that's healed. Um, you don't want to be, Jesus came to bring a sword. Not, um, he came to bring division over the word because the sword is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. He didn't come to bring peace. He came to bring division. So you're going to have little people, uh, groups of two or three gathered in Jesus name that are abiding in the true vine, the true Jesus, not deceived by false prophets and all these false teachers that Jesus warned us would come all these wolves. And when you see the, a bunch of people gathering together, you might want to run the other way because that's not where he is. Um, so you're going to find two or three gathered in his name and that's about it. And that's a church. That's where you go. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> But but the denominations, they're all going back into the mother church, Rome. Um, they're going back into her. They're all three United Nations, and they're all coming back together. They're all coming back together, so there's no more division. So people are happy about there being no more division. She's right. She's exactly right. Oh, Jer oh Jeremy's here, too. Yeah, he, he knows we talk. <laughs> um, Aiden knows we talk, we talk about this. But you guys... um. People are happy about there being no division. We need to stop with all the division and come together as one. Um, no, um, this this oneness is, is not of God. It's not Jesus. And um, there's going to be division over the word. Okay, so read your Bible for yourself. Come out of all this stuff. Be careful. Oh, nice. Oh, hang on. And be careful for all the um, people that are saying they're anointed and casting out devils and all these things because Satan also... Um, does lion signs and wonders and miracles. He's using miracles and revivals and different things. Yes, God isn't going to be in some of this stuff, and he's going to be changing hearts and calling people out of it, and they're going to go to the Bible themselves, and they're going to separate from there. Just like me when I was in the Catholic Church, there was no truth, and there wasn't saved in there, but God brought me out of there. 
So he's going to bring people, he'll use people that have the right heart, that really want the truth and hear the true gospel preached because the faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you can worship all day long. That's great. But um, you have to be converted. A circumcision of the heart has to happen. So, uh, and God will bring people to do that. But all this stuff, revivals and um, oneness and different things people are seeing where everyone's gathering together and casting out devils and doing these things. And then they're not hearing the gospel afterwards. So seven times more evil spirits than the first will come into that person. Yeah. yeah right. So yeah, so after you so after you cast something out of somebody, and if they don't hear the gospel and receive the gospel, well, guess what? They just went home with more with more yeah. problems. Yeah, it's just a just, trick. They want to have everything right now, but they can have everything in heaven. That's right. They want to have everything. I want to be healed. I want my physical elements healed. I want my body healed. I want. I want to have. I want to have my financial thing good. I want everything good. But guys, judgments on America and things are getting ready to get really bad. So, but don't fear anything. Jesus said these things would happen not to be troubled and not to fear. It's, yeah, judgments. Some people say we're part yeah, of... Yeah, we try to help people. Yes, by giving them the gospel. And when you are granted a godly soul repentance, then Jesus cleans house and unclean spirits leave when you depart from sin. Okay, have a good day. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah, amen. Amen.